Hello friend, this is Kunal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will see the knuckle joint and the design procedure for the same. As you see on the screen, there is a knuckle joint and the assembly of that knuckle joint. It is the diagram of the knuckle joint. Here the this one is the fork. That is the double eye end view. And again this is the single eye end. This is collar. This is the, the, the knuckle pin. And here this is the hole for the that tapper pin is inserted. For locking arrangement nothing else. Okay. Knuckle joint is mainly used for the joining the rod which is under the tensile stress and the, some um, relative motion between that rod is necessary. Uh, actually there is flexibility needed for it. So now we see the design procedure for the knuckle joint. For that uh, we will see it by the example. Let's see it. Design a knuckle joint to carry the tensile load of 40 kN. The rod and the pin are made up of SAE1020. SAE1020 is the material. We see it later. Assume the factor of safety that is FOS of a 2. Draw the knit sketch for the same. Again, we have to draw the knit sketch for the same. This kind of question is asked in the uh, university and it is mostly of uh, 16 marks. So we can't uh, lose it. First of all, write down the given data that is P 40 kN and FOS. We don't know about the material uh, and the allowable stresses, but uh, there is something given SA1020. SA1020 is the material. We can find out the allowable stress or we actually find out the um, what uh, ultimate stress from that uh, SA1020. For that, we just have to carry the uh, data book which is of BD Shivalka the book looks like that it is BD Shivalka they standardize some uh, values for the same as you see page number 39 and table 27 some standard values are given as our uh, needed is SA1020 for that uh, SYT that is this is what 246 and SYS is 146 write down both value as like that for the allowable stress the, um, the formula for the allowable stress is what for uh, tensile stress sigma yt that is syt or sigma yt are both are same divided by fos 246 divided by 2 is 123 mpa then for the same uh, shear stress is sigma ys divided by fos 154 divided by 2 that is 77 mpa now we have to uh, calculate some dimensions first of all let's see the what dimension that we have to calculate first is d diameter of rod both side the diameter of rod is necessary so diameter of rod then this one s then the single i this one is a single i and the Diameter of that single eye D1, diameter of quarter, uh, quarter, uh, sorry, it's collar, diameter of collar D2, DP is the diameter of pin, knuckle pin. This hole is given for the tapper, pin, tapper pin, okay. Then the uh, thickness, fog thickness is denoted by T2, single eye. Is uh, thickness of the single eye is denoted by the T1 and thickness of collar is denoted by T3. So let's find out all dimension. For find for finding the diameter of rod, we just have to uh, assume the tensile stress. As I said before, that uh, knuckle joint is uh, specially designed for the tensile stress. So uh, by uh, uh, by taking the tensile stress, we can find out the D. So, tensile stress equal to sigma t, which is the formula for that is p, that is load divided by cross section area. Now, just put the value and get the answer. 
I just arrange it P equal to sigma T A P equal to 40 kilo newton that is a uh, 40 into 10 to the power 3 newton then the sigma T again it is uh, we will find out uh, 20 to 20, 123 then pi by 4 so cross section area form of the cross section area is pi by 4 d square so similarly and it is answer is 20.34 I'll check 40 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1 to 3 into pi by 4 into will give answer twenty point three four similar we assume twenty one for our convenience now another dimensions like that dimension of knuckle joint for the, from the imperial Imperial is what empirical is relation are the relation which is obtained by the practical values if I um, contain some um, this means conduct some practicals and from that practical and uh, come to the conclusion that this kind of thing is uh, equal to this kind of thing similarly s as you see the s this one is 1.2 times of d it is a uh, given or we, we have to assume it no, not to worry about it now just have to learn it 1.2 into 21 52 similar diameter of the pin diameter of pin dp equal to d dp and uh, it is equal to diameter of rod so now uh, don't have to be calculate then the diameter of i end devil it is two times of d diameter of rod so just find out it thickness of i t1 thickness of i t1 is what it is thickness of i t1 is what 1.2 times of d 25.2 then the thickness of fork at uh, each end also each end not its i end i end then t2 equal to 0 0.75 times of d okay now thickness of collar and the pin head this one t3 okay 0 0.5 times of d then the diameter of diameter this one collar diameter where, 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 yeah, this one collar diameter 1.5 uh, 1.5 times of d so this is the empirical solution but it is not necessary that uh, empirical solution whatever the values obtained from that practical it's similar for the all so uh, for that we have to check whether the values come from that is correct or not for that we have to check the various parameter actually uh, failure of check for the various modes Wha whatever the stress induced what are the stress induced in the design design whatever the stress induced in design what are the design we have to done here right now and the from that uh, values the stress induced in the design it should be less than the design stress for the safe condition and we have to find that stress for the same we just check the uh, shear shear failure for the knuckle pin this is the knuckle pin as you can see the side of the screen the knuckle pin actual and the failure of that knuckle pin in shear when it shear so for now the diameter of knuckle pin is dp and it will shear like that okay now uh, as you see there's a true cross section are obtained one two for that mm, means two cross section means two area we have to take then the um, so for that we just I uh, just tried that pin is in double shear as you see pin is in double shear then formula for it is 
tau equal to p by a here the area is double because the true cross section are formed so i just tried two times two times of area so just then easy just put the value and get the answer p is what 40 into 10 to the power 3 area is 2 into pi by 4 d square and find the answer like tau equal to 57.74 it is less than the design stress as you see we just find out the design stress like that 77 and the answer from that is 57.74 so it is safe then again the other another failure we take that is the bending failure as you see just side of that screen how the mother spin will bend now the uh, as you know the st uh, bending stress formula is what m by z for that we just have to find out the m the m is find out by taking the moment about the xx axis taking moment about xx axis means this axis so for that bending moment uh, how the bending moment is calculated taking the bending moment at xx axis minus p this one exact uh, t0 that is this one into t, uh, t to the power 4 because this it is the half of this is t this is half of t this is uh, t to the power 4 so minus p into t to the, t to the, t0 by 4 plus this one is 2 so we just uh, take 2 times p by 2 t2 this one t2 by 2 this middle and plus t1 this one t1 by 3 okay now by taking this uh, p by 2 uh, again common can uh, we just get this and again by cancelling this and this we get final value this just put it in the pro uh, hmm, bending of p by 2 this put the value that is 40 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 2 15.75 divided by 2 plus 25.12 divided by 4 we get 283.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm and sorry newton mm after that this value is put in the formula m by z 283.5 into 10 to the power 3 divided by pi by 32 dp cube this uh, z is what it is a ip divided by y ip is pi by 64 into d to the power 4 upon d by 2 these two is 32 and this d cube so finally we get pi by 32 into d cube by uh, putting the values dp is what dp equal to d1 and d1 equal to 21 just put it in the formula and the we get 311.81 newton per mm square then it is uh, greater than the design stress it is not safe so we have to uh, there is a two ways that first one is modify it or uh, just uh, don't uh, care about the bending stress oh, this two one then the failure of i end what is the i end it is single i end it look like this and you can see on the screen also yeah it will bend in the shear and uh, again in tension in shear it will bend like this as you see in the screen for that we have to calculate that uh, stress at what state it will bend in shear for the shear failure it will um, just uh, see that diagram this diagram it will bend in this manner this one and this one as you see before in that uh, picture so this one is uh, this bigger uh, circle is what d1 and this is smaller circle is for the uh, dp uh, for inserting the knuckle pin diameter of the knuckle pin okay the formula for it what we have to calculate this area for that what we have to do first d1 minus dp means this ring is find out and again uh, we have to find out now uh, means this will just a circumference it will be 
like this for that t so the formula is uh, the uh, formula for the area is what d1 minus dp into t p by uh, and uh, formula for the stress is what p by a p is p by a then uh, just put the values all values and get the answer that is 75.58 then again another failure is in tension as you see in the diagram which is beside this screen on the screen yeah it will fail like this this half portion of that ring the formula and the um, formula and for the area is same same that is d1 minus dp into t okay d1 minus dp into t just put the val all values and get the answer 75.88 uh, it is less than the design stage so it is safe now Now the failure of I in crushing. One more thing uh, where uh, this uh, one more thing where the this single I in this fell is in crushing. Crushing is where the crushing is possible. This one where the pin is insert. This will crush by inserting the pin in that uh, this pin in inserted in this portion. It will crush uh, along the circumference of that pin. For that we have to design safe uh, condition where that uh, fill, uh, that joint is not fill. For that um, crushing P by A similar for for the all stress P by A and the area is what DP DP into the thickness T. So DP into T by by the uh, we get again the seventy five point five eight which is again less than the design stress for this it is safe. But we don't have, we don't know the design stress means in crushing. So for that, uh, two into tau ds means uh, tau ds no, it's sigma ds, or we can say the tau shear stress. Two times of shear stress is equal to the crushing stress. Two into seventy seven is one fifty four MPa is the crushing stress. Uh, it is less than the this one is less than the design stress, so it is safe. Then again, failure of fork in indention. The fork end, as you see in this on the screen, the fork. Fork end also fell in the tension. So this is the fork. When the tension force is applied, this one and this side tension force is applied. This half portion, this portion, will fail and break down in two parts. So this uh, failure. We have to uh, overcome that failure. For that, we have to design safe design for that failure. And uh, for checking it, sigma t equal to p by a, and the formula for that, p. What is the area? What about the area? It is d1. This is dp, diameter of pin where the uh, pin is inserted. Then um, thickness. But here the uh, seeing a one fork and another fork is there. As you see. One fork and second fork. Okay, so the whatever the area find out, uh, it's here in this case is double. So two times of area. Area is what d1 minus dp into t. Here the t is is the t2. Okay, don't forget. Okay, it's t2. 40 into 10 to the power 3. Two times of 42 minus 21 into 15 point seven. Here we get the 16.46 MPa, which is less than, not equal to, it is less than that uh, design stress. So it is safe. Again, this fork is fail in the shear, but the area uh, under under the failure is what it is very difficult to find out. For that, we just seen on the screen there is a failure under the shear, and it will fail like that. This one uh, is a fork. It will fill. This portion is separate out, and here the two cross section one and two similar to that. One and two here also the one and two cross section are fine by removing this. So 
vector cross section and the area is how to find area d1 minus this dp into t but it is of two times so 2 and but it is of uh, two times again so 2 and it means what it is in shear 2 times of d1 minus dp by 2 because this one is fell only in that case so divide by 2 uh, into t2 and the area is double here so tau p by 2a area is what d1 minus dp by 2 so 2a because the two forks are there 1 and 2 this condition and this condition 2 so p by 2a uh, 2a means d1 minus dp by into 2 so by that formula we get another tau equal to 14 to minus 3 to 14 minus 15.75 and we get the 60.46 MPa which is again the less than the tau ds tau ds is what 77 point something uh, 77 then again the uh, similarly as the single line here the fork end is also fell in the cr crushing also so uh, the, it fell in the crushing means this portion is crush out so for that design dp into t area dp into t as you see earlier in the single eye case and the formula for the crushing is what p by 2a 2 why the 2a because the two fork are there 14 to 10 to the power 3 2 into 21 into 15.75 this it will uh, less than the design stress so it is safe design stress is what uh, two times of tau ds 2 into 77 is equal to 154 so and it is 61% so it is less than that the, the design stress and it is safe so this is the design procedure for the knuckle joint i hope you understand and if, uh, if you have the query then ask me in the comment box thank you